You met the script? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice. What yeah. was that like? Um, insane. Uh, I was basically a groupie, <laughs> literally. Uh, yes. So I saw the, the script three times in my lifetime. Uh, the first time was at Sandance, at uh, somewhere where Palm is right now. There was this festival that happens on a yearly basis, I think, and they would get these bands. And, um, and then the, um, the second time... Two times, both of them were uh, jazz festival, Dubai jazz festival. One of the Dubai jazz festivals, that's it. I was like, enough is enough. I need to meet the script because if I don't, then I'm not going to be able to move on with my life. Like I had an obsession, not about the artists only, but about the way that their music made me feel. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Like honestly, the minute the the man the man who can be moved dropped, I was just like, oh my god, that's a that's a really good song. So um, and so I uh, um, I had this thing where I was able for for jazz festivals. It wasn't just the script; it was actually a, f- a couple of years in a row where I found out when you go into a concert, you can easily tell what kind of hotel is sponsoring. Because if they're if a hotel is sponsoring an entire festival, they're gonna want their logos all over the place, and that means if they're sponsoring a festival, then most artists are staying there. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, this is the hotel. It was Intercontinental DFC, mm-hmm. um, and I, I just uh, it was the last song was um, a Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. They they were performing Hall of Fame. Before they were finishing Hall of Fame, my it was me, my one of my best friends, Hind, and my sister. Uh, we started running out of the concert because we didn't want to get stuck in the traffic. So we actually missed almost like m- more than half of the last song they were performing. Um, ran to the car, got in the car, drove to Intercontinental, and just stood there in the lobby with my guitar. Right. Yeah. Um, and Iman was like, okay, are you ready? They're going to be here. You have to sing to them. <laughs> I have that video. How old were you? I was 20, 19, 21. Oh. Yeah. Like I wasn't a baby. No, it was, wasn't. Yeah. Um, I think I was 19. Yeah. Or 20. Mm-hmm. So we, uh, the first person we saw was Glenn, um, who is the drummer, I believe. And we, I saw him and I was like, oh my God, hey, can you please sign my guitar? And he signed it. And then um, and then I saw Danny, who was the lead vocals. And and I, I ran to him. But lo- unfortunately, there were people who thought the same way we did. And they were surrounding him. Right. And so I had to wait a little bit. And then I got to him and I was like, hey, can I sing you a song? And I literally then and there... Because I didn't have a, a guitar um, yeah. strap, yeah. so I just like went on my knees and I started singing a mashup of uh, of um, Jason Mraz, uh, I'm, I'm yours, yours. <laughs> and a little bit of Bruno Mars at the time. Amazing. Oh my God, who am I? I started singing the mashup, and uh, he was singing along, and he clapped and he's like, "You guys are great," and 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 he like it was so cute. And then I took pictures with him, and that was it. At the time, I didn't see Mark, who was the guitarist uh, of the band or um, bassist. I'm so sorry. My memory really fails me. Um, But I didn't see Mark, and I was a bit disappointed because I knew for a fact that he, I mean, I just had a connection with with his personality, and he was just very approachable. I can tell through interviews and um, so my sister was exhausted and she's like, you know what, let's go sit in the bar at Intercontinental and just chill there. Right. Dude, I kid you not. We're sitting at the bar, me, Hind, and Iman. Okay, I wish they were there to vouch for this. I believe you. And <laughs> Iman, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I was underage, so I wouldn't really drink, but I, you know, she's my older sister and she's really cool. So she ordered me like a glass of wine. Um, and we were just sitting and talking about how crazy this moment was, and we took pictures with the script, and we sang to Danny, and it was insane. While we were sitting, or no, actually, before we went into the bar, we we walked into the bar, and we saw Mark standing there having a drink with some friends. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's Mark. Iman, it's Mark. So he took my guitar, 
I approached him. I was like, hey, I was so shy. He took my guitar. He signed it. And then he actually like looked at the guitar and he started saying, oh, this is a cool one. You know, can I strum a few tunes? And I'm like, sure. You know, and then we took a group picture with him. And then um, uh, my sister being like the the mature old one and she kind of can she can she can vibe things out. She, she just nudged me. She's like, let's leave them alone because they're probably really tired from the concert. I'm like, okay. That's that's when we sat on the table in the bar away from them and we got our drinks and whatever. Next thing I know, Mark approaches us, comes to the table and he goes like, hey, can I join you guys? He sits next to me and he starts asking me questions about why I hold the guitar and am I a singer? And he takes the guitar and we start singing The Man Who Can't Be Moved Together. Yes, um, I have that in video as well. And um, and then uh, 15 minutes later, obviously Mark is Danny's friend and band member and basically like everything. So Danny walks into the bar. He sees Mark sitting with us. He comes and he grabs a chair and he sits on my left hand side. And this is where like I'm literally sweating my ass off. Just like that. And we're sitting there for an hour or two just talking to the script. He literally, like, I, I had glasses on at the time, medical glasses. I put them on the table. He takes them and he puts them on. And he's like, he st- starts reading the, the cigarette pack. And he's just like, oh, my God, you're blind. And I'm like, <laughs> I am. For you, for you, I am blind. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And we're just yeah. talking to him. And, and yeah. I'm frozen. And I'm singing with Mark. And I'm talking to Danny. And Hind is talking to Danny. And Iman is talking to everybody. And we're just sitting with the script. And how crazy is that? 